ball. Let's all do a flip shop ball. I'm gonna pop some tags. Only got twenty dollars in my pocket. Uh uh uh. Look at some combo. As many of you know, I love thrift store shopping and vintage shopping. You can find so many amazing pieces for a fraction of the price that you would find them at a store. I still have all my stuff in bags. I literally just got back. I'll wait, Mr. Plain. Rude. So I got, I think like seven pieces of clothing and then I got a giant blanket for the dogs and I spent under $30. I think it came out to like $26 or something like that. Nothing that I bought was over $4. So I'm just gonna jump in real quick here and show you the things that I got. I'm not gonna try them on again at the moment. I'll probably do like a lookbook with my Goodwill stuff or yeah, I'll probably do that. The reason I'm not trying them on, even though I did try them on in the store is because, you know, these clothes, obviously you check them, you smell them, you feel them, you observe and you make sure that you're putting on something that's clean, that was taken care of. It's always a good sign to find dry cleaning tags, little thrifting tips, um, but generally, you know, they don't wash the clothes that are donated, so I try not to wear it too much before I wash or dry clean it. I already paired some really cute little pieces together and made some outfits that I'm gonna wear this week and next week for a concert that we're going to. We're gonna go see Dave Matthews, which is really fun. I've seen him once before. Anyway, rambling, let me start to show you this stuff. I'll start with the pants since I think I only got one pair. So this is a pair of white linen pants, really big and baggy through the whole leg. You can see it's like just a really slouchy linen pant. I had one pair of white linen pants from Forever 21 that honestly they were $11 and they lasted me for like probably five years. And when they finally crapped the bucket, I was so, so sad and I was like, I need more linen pants. So these are from Chico's and there's not a size, wait, is there? No, part of the tag got ripped off. Does it say inside? Well, it doesn't matter. They fit. They're quite baggy on me, like around the waist. It's quite big, um, but I actually like it. They're just like big white floppy linen pants and when you live in Florida, <clears throat> Excuse me. When you live in Florida, something like this is essential. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. White linen pants for $3.50, I believe. $3.99. $3 and something, honey. Either way, you can't complain. Next! I just got a simple, basic blue t-shirt because I don't know, I realized you guys that like I don't have blue t-shirts and as you can tell, I really just like wearing comfy t-shirts like <laughs> There's a ghost! Oh no. oh no! I love simple, comfy t-shirts. And I didn't have any blue ones. And I think that, you know, just, I mean, this is what I'm wearing to the gym today. This one is kind of like, I've had it forever. But this could be really cute with little shorts and just some little like red accessories or something. You know, just simple, cute, comfy t-shirt. Um, $3.99 and it is from a brand I've never heard of before and a size medium. Next, this was actually my favorite shirt that I bought today. It is um, by Ann Taylor Loft. It's a size small cotton shirt. And I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but like the color of it is just such a nice neutral. Like it's just a really, what color is this? Is this taupe? I think it's taupe. It's just like a really, really nice neutral. Sometimes I have a lot of yellow in my skin. So once in a while, like a nude color will sort of just either bring out the yellow in my skin or make me look like corpsey. So I was really pleased with this. And also it's a really cool neckline. It's sort of like a boat neck, but a little more square. Yeah, really soft, really comfortable, basic shirts. Now that I'm getting older, you know, I want to have more basic shirts like this in my wardrobe and just basic pieces that I can mix and match and pair with different things and aren't so trendy but are a little bit more like classic and elegant because I'm so fancy. Uh. This shirt I love. It is a little tank top from Forever 21 actually and I just thought it was so cute. You can't 
well, maybe you can actually tell. Like the material is a really nice kind of coarse material. It doesn't feel like that rinky dinky like t-shirt material, like it's gonna just fall apart. It feels like a blouse and it just has these big polka dots on it and these ruffles in the front and it just sits really nicely. This was also $3.50, no, $3.99. Um, you know what, I think everything that I got was $3.99 except for the dog's blanket, that was $3.50. So yeah, it's just this really cute little roughly Forever 21 shirt with black and white polka dots and I just think you could pair that with jeans, you could pair it with, I mean, so many things. There's some of the ruffling. As you can see, there's a lot, it goes like all the way down the ruffles. So it just gives it a lot of like flowiness and very pretty, very pretty on. A good way to pick clothes when you thrift shop, you guys, and this was actually a trick that was taught to me by a wardrobe person on a film that I was doing. Her name is Nicole Coakley, uh, and she is super, super good at just her job and fashion, and she loves to shop in thrift stores too. And she told me that sometimes what she'll even do is go through the racks and I don't know if she'll actually close her eyes, probably not, that might look a little weird. But she'll go through a rack and just not even look, she'll just feel for the texture. And then you, if you start to do that, you can start to tell what things are good quality and not, because the most important thing is really good quality. Like you don't wanna be getting, especially secondhand, like you don't wanna get, I mean, you know, it's also super cheap. So if you find something that's kind of like crappy quality, but really cute, like, go for it, I do that too. But as a rule of thumb, if you wanna build a wardrobe that's gonna be, keep you, um, that's gonna last and, and be sustainable, you have to find good quality. So you can feel, like you can feel when, this is only Forever 21, but there are certain things that they make that like last forever, like my linen pants, who knew? So when you thrift store shop, just go through and feel everything first. Feel before you look. And it's kind of an easy way to skim through and be like, no, 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 it feels good. Ooh, that's nice and soft. And then a lot of the times, like you'll do that and then look and it's like, oh, 100% cashmere or silk or just like a good brand or a, a, a designer. You'd be surprised at how well you can find clothing that way. So love that shirt. My, no, is that my favorite or is the other one? I don't know, I like them all. More shirts, more shirts. I got all shirts a little boring sorry well not boring I just needed shirts and that's the other thing when you thrift store shop like you can go in with one thing in mind or you could go just being open-minded because you never know one day the pants might be great and the shirts are not great I recommend just kind of skimming through everything because you never know what you'll find like I wasn't expecting to find pants today but I just looked through really quickly and I was so lucky to get those linen pants because I'd wanted them Here's another shirt I got today. It is just a little orange blouse with blue polka dots. And I thought the color combination was a really cool sort of like rusty, muted, understated color, but I love it. There's just something about it that really, and it wears really nicely. It's a low cut shirt. The sleeves have these little like roll ups with the ties. And then the bottom has these little um, straps that you can, tie so it's like knotted up. I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this guy and fall is coming so it's a nice fall color and yeah $3.99 love it this was a forever 21 just a little tank top it looks so cute on it's got this southwestern design it's just comfortable and a little bit big and I want to wear it with some jean shorts maybe wear it to this concert that we're gonna go to it's just like a good kind of end of summer shirt. You know, I like that pattern. It reminds me of a guy shirt. I like wearing guys clothes. So the last thing that I got was just this big, big blanket. It's like, I think a queen or maybe even king sized blanket. It has no fluff in it. It's just a thin, soft blanket. And this is for the pups because Brooklyn had a little accident in her crate this morning and by little, I mean the biggest poo I have ever seen. So I needed to get her new blanket. This is another really good little thrift store slash pet owner tip for you guys. My dogs, if I give them a bed, they'll be good for like maybe a month or two, but inevitably the bed will end up with a little rip in it. And once there's a little rip, they just find the stuffing. It's like they smell the stuffing and they just go for it and rip the bed to shreds. And then there's also just accidents. You know, they're dogs. They sometimes poop and throw up on stuff. It just happens. So 
what I recommend instead of spending a thousand dollars on multiple beds which with three dogs I definitely have done is go to a thrift store and for super cheap get as many blankets as you can with no fluff like this no fluff blankets okay I recommend this to every friend I have with dogs especially big dogs because it's a lot more of a cleanup so um, get a bunch of blankets like this and just stack them fold them up and stack them one on top of each other so you make a bed but there's no fluff and they can bite them, rip them, whatever they want to and it, it won't matter. You could just wash them and cre keep reusing them until they're literally like a rag. So I make their beds as fluffy as I can with these blankets and then if they poop in their crates or something at nighttime or in the morning or if just something happens or they get sick or then it's really nice to just be able to remove one blanket like the top layer or top two layers of blankets and just wash those and then put them back and then kind of like wash one or two blankets at a time instead of having to deal with this big fluffy bed. It's just how, for me, with my three dogs, there is no other system ever. And like three blank, three dollars, three dollars and fifty cents for this blanket that is seriously huge. This will fold over like three times and this by itself will make a good sized little bed but I'm gonna pair it up with like four other blankets just because I'm a psycho dog mom and I want them to be comfy so that is my Goodwill haul for the day let me know what you liked let me know what you didn't let me know what you think let me know if you like to go thrift store shopping too and if so where and if you'd like to see more videos like this comment down below and give me a little thumbs up so I know you liked it guys thank you so much for coming and spending some time with me today I love you all so much make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so we can be friends forever okay thanks guys <laughs> bye